10.1.5 is here and this is my updated Guardian Druid guide. Bears underwent massive changes and that is why it's one of the top tanks right now. So what's the core gameplay of a bear? It's about building and spending rage. Rage is built via abilities like Mangle and Trash and you would spend it on three types of abilities. The first type for mitigation. You will spend it on Iron Fur, which is your main mitigation tool. It will increase your armor against physical damage. The second type is on healing. You can spend it on Frenzied Regeneration. This is a heal over time. The third type of abilities you can spend Rage on for damage. You can spend it on either Maul or Raze. They are to be used when no mitigation or healing is needed. You use Maul when you're fighting a single target and Raze when you're fighting two targets or more. Proper rage management is what makes an excellent Guardian Druid. So make sure to monitor your rage levels and your Iron Fur remaining durations and stacks via your user interface. Let's discuss core rotation and we'll focus on abilities with less than a 45 second CD. Longer than that, we'll cover it in the cooldown section. In a nutshell, most of Guardian Druid's damage comes from their damage over time abilities, Moonfire and Thrash. Mangle is a high value single target ability used to generate rage. Any excess rage that is not needed for mitigation or healing is then used on Maul or Raze for maximum DPS. You then dump all your spare global cooldowns into your filler ability called Swipe. And so, single and multi-target priorities are as so. First, check that you've shifted into bear form. Second, always maintain Moonfire uptime on your targets. Thirdly, use Thrash to maintain the debuff. Next, make sure your Mangle is on cooldown. Next, you want to spend your Rage on Iron Fur, Frenzied Regeneration, Maul or Raze. Next up, you want to consume Galactic Guardian procs through Moonfire. This is one of the key changes coming into 10.1.5. Previously, Galactic Guardian will automatically consume your proc and your buff. Just know that now whenever you see your Galactic Guardian buff, you need to manually boon fire to consume the proc. Lastly, you fill whatever remaining global cooldowns you have with swipe. There's one exception to this priority of rotations. If the Tooth and Claw talent is taken, which is very common amongst builds, when you proc Tooth and Claw, you want to prioritize Maul or Raze for increased target damage and also because they reduce the incoming damage to you. And that is the core rotation, so let's talk about your big cooldowns now. The most important of which is Incarnation. It will boost your maximum health, it allows you to stack more iron furs, and it also increases your DPS. Next is Rage of the Sleeper. Another common talent, it reduces your incoming damage, it also increases your damage output and your leech. Next, you should use defensive only cooldowns when Incarnation or Rage of the Sleeper is unavailable. The first of which is Bark Skin. This is a flat 20% damage reduction on a short cooldown. Next, you have Survival Instinct your strongest defensive, providing 50% damage reduction for 6 seconds, but it has the longest cooldown as well. And by the way, some talent builds comes with a purely offensive cooldown called Heart of the Wild, which increases your physical damage and move fire damage, but it's on a long cooldown. Here's the TLDR for bear cooldown usage. Although bears are very resilient against physical damage due to iron fur, they are vulnerable to other types of damage like magical damage and bleed damage. So it's important to use Survival Instincts, Bark Skin, Rage of the Sleeper at the correct times because all these results in substantial damage reduction against all damage types. Next, how do you gear a bear tank? The first most important is eye level. It influences your dodge chance, your armor gain via iron fur. It provides you with stamina so you have a larger health pool to soak incoming hits. Next most important, versatility. It enhances your damage, your healing, and your absorbs, but it also reduces your damage taken, including physical, magical, environmental, and bleed damage. Haste is your second most important secondary. It contributes to your damage output, survivability, and crucially, how fast you generate rage. Next, you have Mastery, which is affected by your passive, your Mastery Nature's Guardian, which increases your maximum health, your healing received, and your attack power. Lastly, you have Crit, the least important secondary, it grants you dodge and critical damage, but it's not as impactful versus other secondary stats. Let's cover talents. By the way, all the talent build import codes are in the description below. For Mythic Plus, there's two viable builds. My preferred build features Galactic Guardian and the pickup of Twin Moonfire. This is the highest DPS build. However, starting from 10.1.5, you need to manually spend your Galactic Guardian procs. So if you dislike monitoring for procs, you can opt for this Flashing Claw build, overall slightly lower DPS, 
but also way less hassle. For raids, this is the standard build. Good offense and defensive balance. But if you're looking to maximize DPS and raids, these are the changes. You want to pick up Flashing Claws, Guardian of Elune, and Brambles. However, you lose Ursox Fury, Berserk, After the Wildfire, Dream of Scenarius, and Innate Resolve. Trading self-healing and defensives for more offense. And that sums up what you need to master a Guardian Druid in Dragonflight 10.1.5. In case you're wondering about the user interface in this video, links to download the user interface and nameplates are in the description. If this guide was helpful, do subscribe to the channel for more tanking and dungeon tips. You don't want to miss them. A shout out to my Patreon subscribers. I will see you soon.